Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie. If you're new here, I'm so, so glad that you found my channel. Today we have not one box, but two boxes of Sephora stuff because, well, I don't really have an explanation for that. Sometimes I just buy stuff. I hope some of you all can relate to that because I swear I, I'm like, oh, Katie, you don't need anything. You don't need any, and then, yeah, anyways, there have been a lot of new releases lately that I have been super, super excited about that are from Sephora, which is why both of these orders were placed in the first place. And if this is your first time on my channel, make sure that you do subscribe and hit that bell below because I upload new videos every single week about beauty, fashion, makeup, all that kind of stuff. And if you like hauls, this is the place to be because your girl always has hauls. Let's go ahead and get into the video and see what I got. So first off, the first item that made me want to purchase some things on Sephora was this Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Bronzer. So if you have seen any of my makeup videos at all, you would know that I am obsessed with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Face Powder for under my eyes. I, I rave about that powder, but they made the bronzer version of this powder, so I knew that I had to get it. I love the packaging. It's the same as the face powder, except for it is so much bigger. It's literally like bigger than my hand. I actually have used it like three or four times already. I have it on today. And I did get the number three shade in tan. They had four shades and I was really questioning, should I get medium? Should I get tan? Like you would think that I would need medium. Then when I was looking at the swatches online, I did decide to get the tan and I am glad that I did because I do think that the tan works for me fine. But when I'm freshly spray tan, this tan shade looks perfect for me. So I may end up picking up the medium as well. And this was a pricey product. I will list right here on the screen the exact price. It was definitely in the $50 range. But Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite luxury brands and I do love the airbrush flawless lines. The next product is the reason why I placed the second order. This is the Natasha Denona bronze palette. One may say I have too many of these colors in my collection already, but I'm sorry, I cannot agree with you. This is gorgeous. This is what I have on my eyes today. I did do a really quick look today because I was trying to get ready really quickly, but I still think that it turned out really pretty. Do I have palettes that look just like this? Yes, I do. But did I need this palette in my life? Yes, I did. I will swatch a few shades for you. Um, the color I have on my lid today is Silk, so I'll swatch that one for you. High Degree is this really pretty burgundy metallic that looks gorgeous. And I'll also swatch, let's see, let's swatch one of the mattes, Magma. So I can do a video on this palette if you all want me to because I probably was going to anyways, but look at those swatches. Natasha Denona is extremely pigmented. It's extremely soft. It's a beautiful formula. Again, is it expensive? 100% it is. But if you are a makeup lover or a makeup collector like me, this is one I feel like you can't really pass up if you like nude and natural colored eyes or warm toned eyes. Highly recommend it. I've only used it once and I already know it's gonna be one of my favorite palettes ever. The next thing is a hair product. I love Briogeo, the brand. I Everything I've tried from there so far, I absolutely love. And I love their Don't Despair Hair Remask. Don't Despair Repair. Re, don't Despair Repair Hair Mask. <laughs> and this one is a new mask. It was on the new page of Sephora called the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood Mask. So this is a moisturizing hair mask. Just like the other one, you just leave it in the mid shaft to the ends of your hair for about 10 minutes. It's so cute. The packaging is so cute. It's like a light green with a dark green top and it has little avocados all over it, which how cute is that? Like it couldn't even be cuter. And this is what the mask looks like on the inside. Not that you care, but the mask part is also green. And I used this on my hair today when I washed it and I really loved it so far already. I knew that I would. 
it smells super good now i just got this all messy it definitely can smell like that kiwi avocado smell and i love it so far and i will keep you updated and if it is a favorite it will go on one of my monthly favorites the other reason i placed this order was for these three Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipsticks. I have a video already posted on these reviewing them, so I will link that down below if you're interested. I picked up three shades. I picked up Glazed, I picked up Cookies and Cocoa, and I picked up Makeout Break. I can swatch these on my hand for you as well. These are also very nude, neutral shades, of course. Um, I did throw away the packaging, so I don't have that to show you, but it's the standard black and white Fenty packaging that they come in. I've already been wearing them like every single day. They do get a little bit messy because they're so creamy that they kind of melt a little bit if you have them in your purse for even like two minutes outside. Here are the swatches. This is Makeout Break, Cookies and Cocoa, and Glazed. So I highly recommend these and I probably will be getting more colors. The next thing I picked up is the Isle of Paradise dark self tanning drops and i was going to use these for my face because i get spray tans most of the time and i don't usually spray tan my face i usually cover it with one of the like hair masks because i do find sometimes that does break me out and it just doesn't ever look that great on my face so i wanted to try something different maybe try mixing this with my moisturizer i've heard really good things about it i did decide to go with the dark color and i'm not sure that that was a good idea I haven't used these yet. I have no idea how they perform. I have absolutely no idea. I could actually do a video if you guys would be interested, like a review and demo. And yeah, I just wanted to try them out and see if I like them. This next product isn't super interesting or anything, but this is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner or KVD Beauty is now what they have rebranded themselves to. But I just picked up a chocolate brown eyeliner, liquid eyeliner because I've been really liking to do the um, cat eye trend and I wanted to try it with just like a chocolate brown instead of a black. So I have been liking this. I've used it a couple of times. I already knew that I liked this formula. I just wanted a brown liner and decided since I was placing an order, I might as well just put this in my basket as well. This next thing I don't think I'm going to keep. This is another Natasha Denona palette. This actually is the baby sister to this eyeshadow palette. So the bronze palette, you know, I was raving about that. This is the face palette in that collection. And I have only used two of the shades so far, but I've been watching reviews on this nonstop and pretty much nobody likes it. Pretty much everybody is giving this a bad review, saying they're going to take it back. And as soon as I saw it, when I got it in the mail, I kind of thought the same thing. These two up here, they are a new formula for her. They are the Bounce Cream Blush. And I don't, I don't even know why they call it a blush, but this one's like a highlight and it's like almost like a putty texture, but it's really stiff. And this one is supposed to be a blush color, which I really don't think it's going to show up as a blush color on me at all. Then that is like a bronzer topper that's very shimmery, which that one does look really nice and pigmented. And then this one is a highlight, which I also think looks kind of chunky. And these up here, I, I really don't like the texture of them so far. So yes, I will give it a chance. Yes, I will use it a few times on my face, but from what I've seen so far and from what I'm seeing in person, I just don't think that I'm going to love this like I love the eye palette. And for something this expensive and luxury, if I don't love it, I will be taking it back. So the last product I got was this Fenty Cream Blush. I had the other shade that I have featured in my favorites video two months ago, maybe in May, I believe. So I ordered another color to try. If any of you all know me personally, you know that my favorite beauty guru to watch is SMLXO. I have been obsessed with her and I have watched her since she started on YouTube in 2011. I watched her in her dorm room days. And if you know anything about Stephanie, you know that she loves blush. And so Katie loves blush. And I have been seeing her wear a really like red sunburnt looking blush lately, like a lot of blush. And so guess what I have been doing? I have been wearing a lot of blush. So I got this blush because I wanted to kind of recreate that look that she has. This is the Fenty Beauty Cream blush, like I said, in the color Daiquiri Dip. This is 
very straight up red. Um, so it looks pretty scary, but where do I have anywhere to swatch? Let's see. Um, it is pretty red, but once you shear it out, this is beautiful and it gives that perfect, perfect sunburn look. I've been wearing this every day. This is the blush that I have on today. Once you have it on your cheeks, you will see it's not so intimidating. Um, yeah, it's there, but it doesn't look red like it does in the pan. So I've absolutely been loving these little blushes. Yes, they're tiny, so don't don't think that they're going to be regular sized blushes. These are tiny, but you only need a little bit. If you dip your beauty blender in and just pounce it on the skin, you only need a little bit. And Daiquiri Dip is now my favorite. It is a gorgeous summer blush. So that's all I got for my Sephora haul. It wasn't a huge one, but it was pretty big considering I just got a ton of stuff at the Sephora VIB sale. So let's hope I don't have a Sephora haul for at least another two months. But we will see because if there's anything that comes out good, you know I'll be getting it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video down below if you did like it and if you do like hauls. And I will see you in my next video.